Hey everyone, welcome to Crypto Conversation and this is your host Shame. So we're going to talk about in this episode, Zeppe is going to add alternate coins like Litecoin, Ethereum. They have announced this on their blog today. Not only that, they will also be adding order book. So we'll talk about these two news and we'll also talk about what happens if Bitcoin and cryptocurrency gets regulated in India. There's a beautiful article that I found and it says that India is one of the biggest remittance market and what happens if in India Bitcoin cryptocurrency gets regulated and we will also talk about how Bitcoin is going mainstream. The Coinbase, one of the biggest exchange in US, has more users than Charles Schwab, which is another investment and banking firm. But once again, before that, we will start from the crypto coin market cap.com. And just in case if you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss out on these important updates. We talk about cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin, ICOs, news developments, and market sentiments around the globe. This can help you get updated and take the most, make the most out of this cryptocurrencies and blockchain space. So thank you so much for coming back. Let's start with the market cap. So Bitcoin has slightly dropped down from $9,700 to $9,583. A slight drop today uh, but again it's very close to touching ten thousand dollar whether it's going to be touching ten thousand dollar which is going to slide down a little bit that is something interesting that we will have to see uh, you have ethereum at 473 dollars not bad at all you have bitcoin cash not much of a moment you have bitcoin gold surprisingly touching 363 dollar uh, you have dash slightly dropping to $620 and Litecoin at $89. If you look at the overall market cap of cryptocurrencies, it's very close to touching $300. Uh, yesterday we saw about 280 and just 20 billion in just three days. So it's very crazy guys. Uh, one thing that I would like to definitely share that be very cautious in this market. It's a bull market right now. Be careful in what way they are investing because if the market is going up, it may come down. There may be some correction uh, in a few days, probably. Uh, so just be cautious of that. Bitcoin dominance is again 53% out, out of the cryptocurrencies total. So let's have a look at what is Zepay doing. So Zepay has announced that Zepay will be coming up with some great features uh, as per the demand from the people. So first one is that they will be obviously adding some uh, order book, which they'll be order book. Now you mentioned what, what is order book. So what happens is when you place an order, like well, let's say you're buying some Bitcoin or you're buying some Bitcoin on uh, Zippay. So uh, let's say you bought, you got a price of seven six twenty. What's the price today? Uh, the price today is, let's check the price. So just to give an example, so let's say if the price of a Bitcoin is 620 or 630. Now your order does not go through immediately, right? It takes time right now. It says service not available. Uh, anyway, let's let's have a look at here. It's okay. So when you order something, when, when you order the Bitcoin on an, at a particular price, by the time your deposit takes place, the, by the time the transaction takes place, the price may change, right? So with order book, what happens is whenever you place an order, you check the see the price and when you when you do that this will actually increase the transparency that it will tell you that okay this is the price that we have placed the order for so even if there's a fluctuation in the pricing right maybe it comes down or goes up you will still be able to make the deal on the same price that you've chosen from and that is called order book you know uh, this increases obviously the transparency of order book and users will be able to match orders after looking at order book Traders can develop more functionality and such as calculating spreads and hence execute better trades. So one is they're uh, putting up order book. Apart from that, they're also adding multiple cryptocurrencies. Like, as you can see, they're adding Bitcoin Cash. They're ordering, uh, they're adding Ethereum. They're adding Ripple and they're Litecoin. So I know there are not many people who had complained that where do I get Bitcoin Cash or Litecoin Ripple from? So Zippe is adding. Now, why it is also significant? Because let's understand, guys, Zippe is one of those popular exchange and the oldest exchange in India. And a lot of trust does rely with Zippe. So it's definitely a great news. Zippe adding these 
multiple cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, Cash, Ethereum, and Litecoin. I'm very excited about this. Another news is that they are also coming up with the instant pin re reset. So what happens is, let's say if you forget your pin number, right? So in, in case you forget your pin number, you will lock it sometimes. So it used to take 24 hours earlier before you could actually access your ZP account. But now this will be done instantly through an SMS. So this is another change that they have brought in, uh, which is great. So the three things that they are doing. First thing, they are adding the order book. Secondly, they are going to add the multiple cryptocurrencies, uh, four more cryptocurrencies like Ethereum, Litecoin, Ripple, and uh, and they are also going to uh, make the pin reset process trans faster than what it used to be. So as you can say, look forward for these features in the coming weeks so or maybe a week or so they will be able to uh, work, they will be able to add these features, which is awesome. Let's look ahead, uh, go ahead and some, read some other news. So here they, I found a beautiful article that says Bitcoin in India, what happens when the world's largest remittance market regulates Bitcoin? Now remittance market, Bit India is one of the biggest remittance market. So basically a lot of money actually, uh, you know, comes to India from people who, from Indians who are actually living abroad and they actually send their money to their families living in India. And wherein these bank charges about 30%, 20%, Western Union may transfer. These guys are really expensive. So when people have to give away almost their 10 or 20% or 30% of the entire fund to these mediators. So what happens, you know, with Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies, of course, the fees are pretty low and you can transfer the money to anyone across the globe. And once the regulations actually come into India, uh, this India can really save a lot of money uh, through this remittance. So one of the, the inter interesting things that, that I found is, of course, as you guys know, that in India, uh, the news, the, this this issue of regulating Bitcoin and cryptocurrency has gone on to India's Supreme Court. And the India's Supreme Court have issued a notice to the Finance Ministry, Law and Justice uh, Ministry, Information Ministry, uh, uh, Central Bank, Reserve Bank of India and market regulators SEVI uh, demanding that they respond to a, rep a repetition seeking clarity on Bitcoin's legality in country because there have been no clarity from uh, from either from RBI or from SEBI or from Finance Ministry as to what is the status of Bitcoin. So Supreme Court has, uh, you know, asked their attention to, uh, to uh, you know, to come up with some kind of regulations and to come up with a clarity on cryptocurrencies and Bitcoin. And one more thing that I would like to definitely share with you is this, that says that, you know, it is not possible uh, for any country to ban at current phase uh, because that would lead to a government or economy to be isolated from the global market and cryptocurrency industry. Now, this is this is a statement which is of highly importance. If you look at this state, it says it is not possible to ban Bitcoin at the current phase as that would lead to a government or economy to be isolated from the global Bitcoin market. As you now know, brother, Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies are truly global. And if a country decides to ban or stop it, they are definitely keeping themselves away from the global market, which is definitely not good for the country's economy. Uh, and so hence, in the long run, it is highly likely that governments and countries, including India, will regulate their Bitcoin market. So a lot of people do have this question as to whether government will regulate or government will shut down exchanges. So I think, guys, this is the perfect answer that I can I can think of, you know, which is written right here. So uh, this is something that I definitely want to share. And of course, another news is this, that Bitcoin is going mainstream. Coinbase has more users than the Charles Schwab. Now, what is Charles Schwab? As you can see here, Charles Schwab is basically investment into investment, banking, trading, investment advice and all. And if you look at this article here, it says that Charles Schwab has about 10.60 million users, whereas Coinbase has about 13 million users so far. So it has actually beaten the within the, uh, you know, the, the traditional investment company called Charles Cobb. So uh, this is an exciting news again. And of course, that is the reason we see a growth in the Bitcoin and cryptocurrency market. 
nearly touching about 300 billion this is a coinbase uh, website they are they operate in us they deal with the fiat dollar currency and of course they have been featured on bloomberg new york times and wall street and they are also coming up with something for institutional investors right from january so this is the news guys i hope you like uh, to me it looks like bitcoin and cryptocurrencies are going to be mainstream very soon but at the same time i would also suggest that it's a very very volatile market uh, it's a it's right now bull run do be cautious with your investment having said that thank you so much for watching this uh, hit the like button if you did like the content share this with your friends who are involved in the cryptocurrency and i would like to be educated would like to learn more and uh, subscribe if you're new to this channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.